In March of 2020, our next guest was all smiles here on set talking about her new show, Motherland Fort Salem. Who would have imagined that she would be our last in-studio entertainment guest for more than a year? Well, she's back via Zoom this time, but it's always a pleasure seeing Taylor Hickson on the Big Slap of Morning News. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my. It's nice to see you. How crazy. So it was March 13th, Friday the 13th last year you were here, and I was telling you about your post on Instagram. You had your cute little bow, and you were like, oh, we're, ta we're taking over the world because we're taking pictures by our globe in the lobby. And I was in the motherland. That's why I didn't get to meet you in person, but you were here to talk about motherland, Fort Salem, not my motherland, Nigeria. So congrats on season two. Thank you so, so much. And yeah, I was uh, on one of the last flights back to Canada uh, when I last saw you guys shortly thereafter. So <laughs> shortly thereafter, like everything just completely shut down. Good thing you, you, you were, you got a chance to go back to Canada. Good thing I got a chance to come back from Nigeria then. So yes, listen, no kidding. so it, it's, 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 even more super exciting that we get to get a season two because if things could have shut down and nothing would have happened, but your fans were there for you guys, starting from season one. They've always been there nonstop. And for some reason, shows about witches and wizards and, you know, zombies never go out of style. So no, they never seem to what I can say about, what we can tell people about this, we know there's a government agency involved. Witches are helping them solve missions. How would you describe it? Oh man, uh, someone a couple days ago asked me how to describe season two in one word, and I used the word insidious. Ooh. So coming out of season one, you really see Rael and Abigail trying to navigate the pressures of their newfound powers and uh, what that means for their sisterhood. And of course, Tally is a bitty. She's dedicated her life to, uh, to keeping General Alder going. So um, that's that's a massive driver in the plot for season two. And uh, you see a, a couple new people join up. You see Anakasha and Scylla become a team, which was very interesting. And uh, we're facing a new enemy. All right, so we're about to see you in action. You're, we have a clip of you talking to your dad. We'll take a look at that and then we'll chit chat, okay? Okay. I, I thought I lost mom's charm but somebody brought it back for me. Well, I'm not surprised in the least. That old thing will find you anywhere. That's how hard your mom loved you. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I know where we're off to, I'll call you, okay? Okay. Hey, hey, uh, whatever happened to, uh, to that girl you liked? We broke up. Her great loss, I'm afraid. Spoken like a true dad. He's like, oh, you broke up her loss. So what more can you tell us about the relationships, her family? Are we going to see her powers expand this season? Because that's why I want, I want to be a witch. You watch shows like this, you see their powers, you're like, why can't I do that? I want to be able to do that. I know, I know. Um, I mean, in terms of familial relations, there, um, there's a lot of discoveries. Uh, there's a lot of development. I mean, working with Rothgar, who plays my dad on the show, he's just a phenomenal, phenomenal scene partner. Um, but, you know, going into season two, I think her griefs really pushed her. And as much as she's had colossal growth in how to trust and, and let go and mourn, it's still, it's still heartbreak mm -hmm. as its bottom line. And, you know, there has to be setbacks to gain insight. So even though she's, she's come a long way, there's always kind of two steps forward and one step back. There's that push and pull and, and mm -hmm. you know, trying to be her most emotionally available self. So you see that much over the arc of season two, uh, just her navigating the importance of having patience with herself and hardships and, uh, and learning how to love herself. And I think thematically that would feel incredibly relatable considering the last year we've had. So, you yeah. know, with, with pain, you have two choices. You, you give in or you get strong. All right, I love the show because it's predominantly like a female cast. You get to see a lot of female power up there. And then I love you because you are like a multi-talented superhuman being because you not only act, but you started out as a singer and then you do so much good work with your charity. Or like, <laughs> like, what is it you don't do? Like, tell me one thing you're bad at so we can feel good about ourselves. Dancing. What? <laughs> don't oh, let me dance. Really? Oh, I can teach you how to dance. I'm not a great dancer, okay. but I can, I can, I learned from Beyonce. 
So she has taught me. Oh, you know who else is going to come on that can teach you how to dance? Demetria from your, your, your co-star. She's coming up soon. She, she can bust down. She's tried to teach me how to dance. She tried to teach me how to move my butt, and she, she now calls me... Um, uh, was it 90 degree angle or something? She goes, I'm going to find out what exactly she calls you. But I feel like if you guys put more work into it, you can get it done because there's nothing you can't do. Demetria's joining us, and I'll find out. You two maybe can do a song together because she sings. You oh, sing. That'd be amazing. All right, I'll be in your music video dancing. Deal? <laughs> Sounds perfect. All right, Deal. Taylor. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to meet Thanks. you via Zoom. Next time it's going to be in person, and you can catch the magic unfolding on Motherland Fort Salem on Tuesday night, June 22nd on Freeform. Episodes are also available the next day on Hulu. Bye, Taylor. Thank you. Bye. Have a good day.